So Microsoft early in the year said 2025 is the year to become quantum ready. And we are seeing an absolute explosion in the quantum theme in the stock market. For those who have been early investors in quantum, which is a lot of people that follow this channel, today has been a great day. The market is still open, so I'm always a teeny bit nervous that things could change, but at the time of this recording, it has been a banger, a banger of a day. And we're gonna break down a few stocks. We're gonna look at QUBT, Quantum Computing Inc. We're gonna look at D-Wave, which again made another 52 week high. And we're gonna look at a non-quantum stock, Archer, flying cars, they're coming very soon. And Jimmy Fallon's gonna be flying one. Um, all of them have been, had an incredible day in the stock market. So let's take a look at all of these. Let's jump right in. All right, guys, so we have QUBT, which has moved 38% today. ARQQ, Quantum Cybersecurity Play, has moved 22%. QBTS has now posted 52-week highs, two trading days in a row with a 10% gain. Gain. Our chip fabricator for D-Wave and an onshore chip maker, Skywater, has posted a 10% gain today as well. LAES, a ticker that we've covered on this channel many times. SEALS Q has a nice 5% gain. Even Ion Q, 5%. We see down the quantum watch list with the exception of Microsoft and Amazon who've posted some recent substantial gains, including IBM. Everything is green. And this is just a, a fantastic day for quantum. So you're probably wondering, so you're probably wondering why, why are all these stocks moving like this? I have some theories. One is we do know that the, that Honeywell who owns Continuum on Wednesday announced a deal with Qatar's AI Robin Capital in what officials say could be a $1 billion joint venture over the next 10 years. So this is uh, an infusion of money that wasn't really on the radar and wasn't really priced in for quantum stocks. So billion dollars over 10 years, that's a lot. We know that in Congress right now, there's also a few bills that are waiting for congressional approval that would infuse a lot more money into quantum. So quantum stocks looking really good today, but the winner of the day was QUBT. And I covered QUBT last night on the channel. So if you like to stay up to date with quantum stocks, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Um, I'm trying to get you guys information as soon as I have it. So we're all as informed as possible. So I did find this article. So I thought this stocks to trade article was really nice. So Quantum Computing Inc has gone up by 38%, which is insane to say. So th they're highlighting a couple recent developments, the recent promotion to COO and another promotion to C chief revenue officer aimed at boosting QCI's growth, a notable subcontract award from NASA. There was a notable sale of an MU core reservoir computer and a retirement. And then we also know that they have their chip foundry. So they, so that was something that came up in this article. So opening a new quantum photonic chip foundry in Tempe, Arizona, marked another strategic leap, a move to meet the rising demand for lithium, lithium niobate photonic chips. So they, so here, here's the, my two cents on this. I listened to the earnings call for QUBT. And they took one question, one question, and it was a softball question. And QUBT has a bit of a PR. They need to do better about talking to the public and their investors. They, they play it pretty close to the chest. 
And that makes people a little bit nervous when they're putting their own money. Um, I'm a QUBT investor, but it's not as big of an investment as my other quantum investments because I there are question marks that I have for QUBT, and and they, uh, it's their job to overcome uh, those question marks. It's their job to communicate with investors uh, what they're doing and what runway they see. Now, I did like the CEO's comments. I think the CEO had. Uh, very good cadence, and is he's an interim CEO, but he spoke with a lot of uh, good cadence and confidence. Now, for the for the price action for QUBT, I just want to pull up six months. Okay, so six months of QUBT, we haven't seen really anything like this price action from QUBT since all the way back in December during the quantum frenzy. So we actually broke, we gapped up today and we're knocking on the door where we have men, uh, a very fierce spot of resistance. We can see uh, six, seven rejections, uh, double candle there. And if we go back further in the chart, we can see it acted as an area of resistance over there. So what can we expect from QUBT going forward. Well, it is now back potentially in its nosebleed area, but it did like to hang around this nine to thirteen dollar point. So could it cool off next week? Could it trail back down and just kind of hang around between ten and twelve? We'll see. The quantum theme is hot right now, so we'll we'll uh, we'll see. In in a bear case. It would move back down. It could move back down to its pre-earnings level. In a base case, perhaps it rejects off 1282 and just kind of cools off and hangs around in this channel. And in a bull case, what's the next level that we should be looking at? Well, we I didn't think I'd be drawing this line on this chart, but I guess it's time. Um, it looks like we need to be looking at 16 as a potential next level. So in an ultra bull case, we would look at a move up to 16. Now, if you're trading this and you're wondering, can I make profit in this? Just understand that all uh, this company isn't making a lot of money. A lot of quantum stocks are trading at very high valuations. And they are pricey. So every investment carries risk, but especially quantum stocks. So make sure you do your own research and do your own due, dil due diligence. Do I personally think that this is going to move all the way back to its all-time highs? Let's measure that if, if that were to happen. That would be a 100% move. I'm not sold that this is a full bullish reversal at this point in time. It is still within this channel. I'm just drawing a big circle around this so you can, can kind of see that price action. It's great that it made the recovery today, but for to warrant the higher price, I'd want to see more from the company. I could be dead wrong about this. Let me know in the comments below if you invest in this company. Let's move on to QBTS. So on the channel, we called this price point, right? Where we were coming down to the rising support, which is this, this blue line, and we had earnings. Now, I got you guys, I did my best. I got you guys the Murray Tom interview, okay? Posted to my channel at nine o'clock the day before earnings, okay, right here. And if you traded into QBTS, you've seen an 84% gain. So, I, I did my best. Um, make sure to turn on notifications if you want to catch those. I tried my best to get that interview out to you. It was very clear from the Murray Tom interview that I did, their VP of tech evangelism, that D-Wave is super, super bullish. Now, uh, what do we have as far as just the stock goes? Well, we have this now what's, we can see that we've broken through this $12 level, then sold back down. Then we gap up today and we make a new 52 week high. Then we sell back down. So we see this kind of this, this spike up, 
sell spike up so but what's starting to happen is this 12th dollar is starting to become a little bit more in play now i i've said on this channel before i thought it was going to sell back down to nine dollars and 37 cents and we're sitting in the 12s so what the heck do i know that's why you you it's very hard to predict where you know, none of us can see in the future, but I want to draw out a few cases real quick for you all. Um, we are the next level for D wave. It's crazy to say this, but the next level is it's all time highs. Okay. So that would be 1328. If we go back into the week, we're not too far away from that. So could we see it come down to this new level of support and work its way back up? Now, I'm going to give a quick bull case, bull case and bear case. I think next week, if the market cools off, we could see it come down and maybe hang around this 1034. In a bull case, I think it definitely is going to struggle to get through the 1250, but then I think it wants to test all time highs. And if we do make it to all time highs, then we're in what the la la land of price discovery where no one knows uh, how high this thing can go. Okay. So, price discovery, where we're going to draw a sun, we're going to draw a smiley face. So this is where we want to be is in price discovery. Now, I'm hoping for a little bit of a pullback because I want to add more shares, but this thing is is uh, ripping, 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 ripping. So we'll see. All right. We're going to shift gears to Archer Aviation. And Archer has had one hell of a week. Let's look at the... We're going to go back to Monday. So Friday, we closed at so friday we closed at 881 and today we touched 1339 that is a 60 60 percent gain 60 percent gain and i started covering this stock i've covered it a number of times on the channel but we're talking about flying cars here and and uh and they're coming <laughs> they're coming fast and that's the crazy thing about technology and ai and all this stuff it changes so fast now look at the value of the stock and it just continues to go up and up if we look at the one year we are at year highs let's look at all time so the next the next level for for archer is really this uh, 1864. I mean, we're, we're, uh, looking for all time highs for Archer. Now you're probably wondering flying cars. What is this? The Flintstones? Like, no, uh, actually, uh, we're going to watch this interview on Jimmy Fallon from last night and you'll get a feel for why there's so much enthusiasm around this. Let's, let's tune in here. Uh, to talk to you. Thank you so much for being here. For those who might not be familiar, uh, can you explain what Archer Aviation is all about? Yeah, we're building the future of aviation. These are flying cars. This they is going to take you <laughs> off the ground, stuck in traffic, 60 to 90 minutes into the air, five to seven minute trips. Really? And how, how high off the ground are these? So similar to how... Okay. So we don't have to watch the whole thing, but uh, one of the other announcements that was made is they're going to let's let's uh, let's listen to this. Uh, but you're you're making you're all right, guys. So uh, exciting times, exciting times for quantum computers, exciting times for flying cars, exciting times for tech. Uh, if you're a tech investor, there are so many opportunities in the market, so many things to be excited about. So I'm very excited about tech and the markets right now and i'm very happy to see quantum doing well super happy for archer and as an investor in all these companies um one of the benefits of this youtube channel is that i get to i force myself to do my own due diligence on the companies that i invest in and i hope you guys take some value from that uh, if you have not already please consider leaving a like or subscribe if i've earned it and we'll see you in the next one